Hello and welcome. This is a, another unboxing video. This time it is an order from Model Bahn Shop Lippe. Um, this is a replacement for a Trix train set that I received in June but ended up being defective. So we're going to open this up and test this one out and hopefully this one will operate properly. Let's take a look here. So, as usual, the shipping time from Lippa with UPS is about five days. This one is the replacement unit, so there was no charge for it. I'm returning the old one that I, the defective one rather, that I shipped to them. Um, I shipped with uh, USPS, the postal service, priority, and it was supposed to take approximately five to seven days, I believe. Um, it was in Germany within three days, but then it sat there for about two weeks, I assume for quarantine or customs purposes. So that's it here. This is the Trix 23219 DC Simplon Orient Express set. It's a huge box, so it's kind of difficult to put it all in focus with a camera. And I can't find the video. I think I made a video from it last time, the defective one, but I cannot find it, so we're just starting from scratch here. So the whole issue with the previous one was that the luggage cart, which is this one up here, which is where the decoder and the sound functions are, would function properly, but that it would not transfer the illumination to the other, um, to the other carriages. So we're going to try this and see if this one works properly. So the first one we're going to check out is the luggage car. Like I said, that's the one that has the decoder built in as well as the sound functions. And it also has the tail lights right there. This is the only one in the set that has tail lights. So let's interrogate the decoder and take a look. This one's got the doors that open. Both sides. So like I said, let's, um, let's read the decoder and see if this one works properly. All right, so everything with the decoder is working properly. So we start off with the interior lighting. And then the tail lighting as well. Then we have the various sound functions. Kitchen sounds. Well, it sounds like they're using cast iron pans there. Darf ich Ihnen vorab einen Aperitif anbieten? Sehr gern. Genießen Sie Ihren Aufenthalt hier bei uns im Speisewagen. The onboard announcements. Ich darf Ihnen hier die Speisekarte überreichen. Wir servieren Ihnen heute als Menü Filet Rascas Ruti, Aubergine Fumée und Crème Anglaise au Chocolat. That's the menu being read in the dining car. Darf ich Ihnen vorab einen Aperitif anbieten? Sehr gern. Genießen Sie Ihren Aufenthalt hier bei uns im Speisewagen. Guten Morgen. Ich hoffe, Sie hatten eine angenehme Nachtruhe. Ich darf Ihnen das Frühstück servieren und wünsche Ihnen einen guten Appetit. 
That's your wake-up call and breakfast being served, sounds like. Es ist 17 Uhr. Zeit für eine Tasse Earl Grey, ein Fruchttörtchen oder ein Pizze. Nehmen Sie einfach, wenn Sie weitere Wünsche haben. Ich bin gerne für Sie da. Here they're announcing that it's time to go have a cup of Earl Grey while they make your cabin over for uh, for for sleep time. That was kind of self-explanatory. And then we have one more sound. Guten Abend. Darf ich bitte Ihre Bettkarte und Fahrkarte sehen? So now I'm gonna hook up the second car here. This is where it all went wrong with the other set, where the power conducting coupling was not doing it. A look yay there we go this one's working properly so since I ordered this I believe back in September um, for me to get a properly functioning one took quite a while but I'm glad it's here now let's put it on the main track hook it up to a locomotive and do a test run with it so when I was troubleshooting my previous set um, the one thing that I learned that you have to pay special attention to the Trix version is that all the carriages are oriented the same way because the power conducting coupling only has one contact. I think it's a carryover from the Marklin model where it wouldn't matter. So that means that you have to look at the axles and the metal, the copper rather, hub has to be on the same track for all the cars. So it's just something to pay attention to and that way the, the luggage car picks up the DCC signal, it sends it through the decoder, through the power conducting coupling and then each carriage picks up the opposing circuit from the same track. So we're going to hook it up to the Series 241 locomotive. This also has a lot of sound functions and could actually become a little overwhelming I think if we do all of them all right so here's the whole train ready for departure work. The dining car, every table has a lamp. So let's check out the combined noises of these uh,
So the little pamphlet included in there includes the locomotive, one luggage car, and then one, two, three passenger carriages, one dining car, and then two more passenger carriages, and then one more luggage car. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the other ones, but this is a very, very beautiful combination. And the detailing on it is just superb. And the fact that it works right this time doesn't hurt either. So thank you very much for watching and until next time, bye bye.